Hi, my name is Hayden and I'm a shareholder. I got my 85D last July and since then it's gotten about 150,000 miles or so on it. And even with daily full recharging, we've only lost about 6% total battery capability. And there's been no real maintenance costs except for like four sets of tires. <laughs> but so my question is... Depends on which tires you... Oh, it sounds like you have the high performance tires, maybe. No, 19. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of miles, maybe? I don't know. Like regarding the free long distance travel on superchargers for life, how long do you intend to act on that? And then once the Model 3 comes out and there's upwards of 500,000 a million cars out there, how are you going to keep up with that? Right. I mean, to, to date, the, we wanted to make it really straightforward and, and easy. Um, so um, that, that's, that's uh, why the, you know, the superchargers are set up, um, at least to, to date, for people that have bought the car as free long distance for, for, for life. Um, obviously, that has fundamentally a cost. Um, the, um, and, and so I think, I mean, I don't want to make this some big news headline, but the, the obvious thing to do is to decouple that from the cost of the, the Model 3. Um, so it will still be uh, very, uh, very cheap and far cheaper than gasoline to drive long distance with the Model 3, but it will not, it, it will not be free long distance for life unless you purchase that package. It's, it's not, like, I, I wish we could, this is not, but, but in order to achieve the economics, it has to be something like that, you know. But, uh, you know, it's like, I, I want to just emphasize, like, what Tesla's motivation is, is, is to make electric transport as affordable as possible. That is what informs all of our actions. Um, so if we do something and we charge for this or charge for that, it, it is not because you know, we want to make things more expensive is because we, 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 you know, we can't figure out how to make it less expensive. That, that's all. Yeah, it, it, it also just sort of pains us to see people misvaluing their time at supercharged stations so often. Yeah. You know, it is far more convenient and, and faster for you overall to charge at home or at work. You know, it takes one second to plug in. You don't have to go to a separate location and wait for the car to be there. And you know, time and time again, we see people that you know, drive to a supercharged station, sit in their car, wait there for 20, 30 minutes, and then drive to a different destination. And if they do the math on the value of their time, you know, it, it makes no sense. Yeah. So, I think part of it is just, it, just people you know, used to, are used to a paradigm where they go to a gas station uh, to fill up, and that's just normal. Um, so then they get an electric car, and it's like, oh, I need to go to the supercharging station to fill up, because that's what's normal. Um, but, but actually, the, the, the best thing to do with an electric car is to charge your car where you charge your phone. Like, you know, would you really take your phone to a gas station? Like, <laughs> no? Um, so, so I think a lot of it is just people kind of, they're used to an old way of doing things, and they kind of do it by default. But as JV was saying, like, driving to a supercharger and, and you know, in order to, like, maybe... Uh, get five dollars worth of electricity um, and spending half an hour f for your time, like you're, you know, maybe barely at minimum wage. Um, so it, it, it's actually not, it's just not the best thing for people, but that, you know, they kind of do it out of habit. 